So here we are, we're gonna try an experiment here. I have both a spotted cucumber beetle, I think that's this one here climbing on the side, and there is a striped one in there. Where's the striped one? There it is. Okay, so we have both kinds in here. I'm going to test some Captain Jack's dead bug brew on these. To see if it really works on them or how effective it is. So I'm gonna spray them with it in just a minute got air holes in here they'll be able to breathe rinsed it out real good so they won't get any gatorade on them or whatever this was okay i'll be back so it was kind of difficult to open the jar here and spray it without the beetles flying away so i had to turn the camera off for that but rest assured they've been sprayed and i tried not to spray so much there's a little bit down in the bottom there but i tried not to spray so much that it would drown them so, you know, I want them to eat this or walk across it. It's supposed to be a contact killer. It's supposed to kill them on contact or if they eat it or sooner around contact. Now, it doesn't have cucumber beetles listed. However, it does have beetles listed in general. So that should work. I also have Captain Jack's or uh, bone-eyed neem oil too. So if this doesn't work, we'll try that. But We'll see, because this is supposed to paralyze them, and obviously once they're paralyzed, they're basically as good as dead. So we'll see how Captain Jack's dead bug brew works on them. I'll be back with you a little later for the results. So the time is 8.12 p.m. It's just a few hours later. And we have a couple dead cucumber beetles. Spotted one is dead. And the striped cucumber beetle is dead. Would appear that Captain Jack's dead bug brew is effective against cucumber beetles. I'll try another experiment again just to be sure. But as of right now, I would say looks like it was effective. So I have to conclude it kills vine borers and it kills cucumber beetles. Those are the two biggest pests in my yard. I have not personally run into the dreaded squash bug yet. I haven't grown pumpkins for three years. Hopefully I don't ever run into those, but I would try this on those also. Here's to have worked.